So, let's start off with this. Just no build-up. So, yeah. Um, as I'm sure you remember, I very much hated the uh, Cardo section in uh, Moody Maze. This one is apparently going to be a lot easier. Which, I guess, makes sense, because this is the first edge. So, only 60 gems. I mean, I vaguely know what they are. But yeah, um, one of the tips I got last time was that there is like a cooldown every time you do something, and the game doesn't really let you know this. So you can't actually like jump twice quickly, and you can't, like you have to wait a bit after shooting before you can shoot again. And since there's no real way to like aim where you're shooting, that is also a bit of an issue. But, uh, yeah, since this one looks rather easy so far, I'm not terribly worried about it. Despite getting hit there, I'm sure I'll still be fine. Okay, maybe not, but whatever. I think you can just... Oh, yeah, yeah, I I'm trying to remember if you can just dash through the barrels or if you have to shoot them, but whatever. Timing. timing. But yeah, anyway, I did look at all the comments last time, um, so I'm aware of some of the stuff I need to do. It's all kind of in the same area, and then after that I'll be exploring some uh, slightly new territory. Alrighty, got that out of the way. So, let's head up here. Um, just for the ref just for the record, I did kind of like wander around a bit off screen before starting recording um just to kind of get the lay of the land a little bit better. I still don't fully know how everything connects, but I know at least a couple of them like where the doors go and all that. I still can't remember if I've ever used that platform. That's going to annoy me, but whatever. So yeah, um, the game has trained me... Oh, Jesus. Uh, trained me up to this point to not bother with the uh, the KGs because you usually can't do anything with, the th with them, but this one you can talk to. So let's see what we have to actually do here. Yeah, I mean, like, you totally could. Your best was not very good. What? What the hell? That's, uh... That's something different. Alright, um... The only other major thing, and major is putting this strongly, um, that I was specifically told to check out was, uh, I missed a quill over by the cloud dude, and I'll, I'll be back there eventually, I'm sure. For right now, I guess we'll see where this door goes. I don't even remember how I got to where he is. Okay, so once again, I have no frame of reference for where I actually am, but let's go ahead and keep on wandering and try to avoid the actual path as much as possible because it's much more fun to just wander off. Ooh, is that my cannon friend? With the voice that sounds like Bubs? I don't think it is, but that would be good. Alright, what do we got going on over here? Oh, it is. Yeah, we do. Loves a cannonball for tea. Don't know what that means. Oh, yes. 
I mean, it looks like just one friend with four faces, but okay. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and skip this. I, I do enjoy the voice, but I don't want to sit here listening to it all day. So why can't this one just leave? Oh right, the other one didn't leave either. It was scheduled to open because... Oh, I don't even know. So basically this is the uh, peanut shooting thing with the big pillar in Angry Aztec, except quite a bit easier. Oh. Huzzah for easy challenges. Alright, so there's a platform over here. Makes the magic school bus noise. Did I... I, I feel... I, I don't remember if I've made that reference before, but that noise sounds like... The cutscenes in... Oh, okay. Here's some good collision. Um... Sounds like the cutscenes in the Magic School Bus explores the human body. Th that was a freaking weird game. I remember a few years ago I uh, picked that thing up from a Goodwill and I said that I should totally uh, do a video on it at some point. And then uh, Brutal Moose ended up doing one. But that doesn't mean that I still can't. I guess one day I probably should do that. It's a weird goddamn game. Anyway, yeah, there's a collectible nearby, I hear you. Unless it's just the, qu uh, the quills, because I hear that if you get most of them in a stage, it uh, starts alerting you towards the remaining ones. But I've still got 33 left, and that's probably too many for it to do that, so I don't know. If I would actually use the plat use the platforms that the game provides me, I would probably have already found the, uh, thing by now. Yep, indeed I would have. Alright. Since I'm not going to immediately reopen the, uh, collectible list, I... think that was the last one-of-a-kind thing in the stage. So I've just got the usual stuff from now. Alright. I think I've pretty much cleared, cleaned this place out. I don't see anything else I can do up here. It is difficult to tell because the first person looking is not the greatest I've ever seen. But yeah. Okay. Let's head back then. From the very beginning of the, like, climb the temple section, there was a branched path, and I never actually took the left path, so... I'll probably just have to be heading back there. Also, is the music just on vacation, or...? There we go. I guess it's just because I was high up. I never really understood why that's a thing in Rare games, that the music goes away when you're high up. It, it's... It's like, it's atmospheric, but at the same time, I don't understand why it does that. Like, I'm not really seeing the connection. But whatever. Okay, so yeah, here's the beginning. And let's just take a left here. And we will move on to uh, new great things. Will they actually be great? I don't know, probably not. And then it turns out this just leads to the cloud dude, and that's it. God, what if it does? Okay, now there's at least a few quills over there. Yeah, this looks like something. Alright, what do we got going on here? A what? Okay. I mean, I see where this is going. That was it. Oh. What the 
terrible is that voice? Alright. So, how am I gonna pull that off? I guess just like this. There's no platform leading up there, but I should just be able to do like a spring jump. Possibly. Bleh. Yep, that's all you needed. Just tiny little spray. I mean, I guess, but you also don't have any appendages that you would be able to do that with. Alrighty. There's a platform. I should probably take that at some point. Let's go back to this thing, though. And we've got more branching paths, okay. Um, that looks like some uh, platforming fun. I'm up for some platforming fun. Also, wait, is this... Okay, no, I don't need to care about that. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do this part, I guess. Oh, is it a race? Let's see. Yep, it's a race. Well, I mean, kind of. As soon as I go through that, it's gonna start the timer, probably. So yeah, let's go. Or maybe not. Like, I thought all the ring challenges up to this point had been on timers, but this one doesn't seem to be. Then again, I did just hear, like, a ticking noise. I, I... whatever, I'll just go fast anyway. Well, fast-ish. Okay. <laughs> I like this last one here. Oh, except it wasn't the last one. Alright, so there's that platform I noticed before. That was not all that difficult. Laylee looks creepily into the camera. Alright, was that it? <laughs> Again, I'm like surprised at some of these, because it is still the first level, but I mean, it's like it's the expanded first level. It should count for more than that. And we're dead. Yeah. It was a speedrun strat. I just wanted to get back here. Alright, what we got over here? A doorway that I don't really want to go in. Cool. Because every time I go in one of these, I end up somewhere unrelated and then don't remember what I've not collected. Have I been over here? I don't see any quills. Um. Game? Oh, okay. Yeah, I... The thing is, like, a lot of this stuff looks the same, but there's no quills here, so I feel like I have to have been here at some point. I think I just jumped here from a weird location. And Cloud Dude? No? Why am I still going? This place is clearly already cleared out. Yeah, there's Cloud Dude. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get the one quill while I'm here. One quill that allegedly exists. Um, oh, it's like over there. Okay. Unless that's not the one. I thought they said it was like above him. Apparently, they were like howling at the screen that I didn't get it. 
I don't know. I, I've done that myself. I just usually don't comment about it afterwards. Okay, well that was a worthwhile expedition. Let's go back. I think there's like one other route I haven't taken and that's about it at this point. Alright, so back to this juncture. Um, guess let's keep going this way because I didn't continue last time. Wasn't there a platform here that I could go up? Yeah, there it is. How did I miss that? What did that like blend in? Hold on. Yeah, I guess it's just behind the fence. But what if I keep going now? Anything over here? Uh, what do you know? There is. Okay, let's do the platform first, then. At some point, I'll have to check how much stuff is still left in the level, because, uh... Oh, this was just meant to do the water. Okay. Never mind, then. But yeah, I think I'm, uh... Getting pretty close to being done with this stage. I still have a couple things I have to backtrack for when I have new moves, but uh, that aside, I can't think of much that I haven't explored. Yes? Is this related to the one that I needed to be invisible? Maybe it's just a shortcut once that opens up. Okay, let's actually check the counter. Yeah, I'm only missing three. One of them is on top of the central tower when I can fly or whatever I need for that. One of them is right there. Assuming that's the same one that I need invisibility for. The other one, I'm not sure. And somewhere there's 13 quills. Um... So, my options at this point are either stop caring and move on, and then, like, I'll clean up the level when I come back with those moves, or wander around a crap ton off screen and try to find if I've missed anything. Um, given those two options, I'm kind of preferring the first. I don't mind exploring stuff, but I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile if I have to just backtrack here anyway, so... I think I'm pretty good. I'm still going to keep doing this, though. I, I am enjoying this. Yep, that was uh, completely unnecessary, but I had fun doing it. So that means I am the victor. I don't know. Clearly, from this high up, I'll be able to see what I'm missing. But yeah. <clears throat> I think we're good, so... Let's just, uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. It's faster. No reason not to do it. And since that was, uh, not particularly long, I guess let's head over to, uh... Glitter Glaze and start some of the stuff there. Now, in that stage, everything, like, there were very obviously padlocked areas that will be opening up, so those at least are, like, isolated, but I, they could just add random crap in other parts of the level, too, and, uh, that means I'll probably have to explore the whole thing again. Is this the right area? Yeah, I think this is. I am very slowly learning how stuff connects. Also, remember when I, uh, eventually learned, like, how to get around in this stage? Because I probably don't remember anymore. I don't know, it might come back to me. Okay. So, let's sit through a loading screen, and then it'll show us what we can do. I remember there was a cage underwater. There was another one, like, high up in a... I, I can picture where the section is, I just don't know how to describe it. I think those are the only two that I can remember. There might have been more, though. 
Okay, so let's see. Uh, yep, that was one of them. Really? We're just gonna re refer to the Ice K, okay. I mean, I guess that's a callback. Extra continent. Okay. I'm perfectly okay with this because that means I don't have to re-explore everything I've already done. <clears throat> I already got all the ghosts in this stage, I think, so... And um, for this one, I specifically even looked at a guide for that one uh, snowman that I needed to find, and while I was looking at that, I also scanned the list that they were showing, like, the other pages, and I had gotten all of them up to that point, so I think I basically cleared this place out. Now, this is going to lead near where Dr. Puzz is, right? I think that's where I want to be. Hey, look, I remembered. Yeah, she's uh, right over there. And I just need to climb up this Gilgamesh and, uh, well, actually, wait. Do I climb up? There, there's something I climb up. Is it this, or... No, it was that over there. Yeah, I need the honey ability for that. I was close. But yeah, I think off in the distance, there was like that whole big ice palace that I wasn't able to explore earlier, so... This will probably be leading me to that. So we might end up getting that uh, new continent after all, depending on how much there is there. Okay. Let's hold on this shot for a few more seconds. Ooh, that's some weird lighting. Isometric Palace. It, yeah, I mean, that is... That is an accurate name. That That's, uh... Okay. I don't know why they're doing this, but I, I see where they're going. Okay, um... Oh, and there's a collectible here, apparently. Uh, yeah, there's the butterfly. Okay. Can I cheat and get that early, or do I have to go around? Probably have to go around. Okay, so wait, let me, uh... I wish there was a faster way to go through this. It really should just pull up the level that you're already on. So I need... Yeah, the butterfly and the play coin. More than half of the pages. About 50... Well, 53 quills, so yeah. Um, the play coin probably won't be that well hidden. And I already know where this thing is, so I'm going to go ahead and switch away from the uh, item finder here. Pick one, something else that's useful. Uh, let's see. Butterfly is good. Buddy slam. Don't think I'll need that. Let's take this one. Okay, so let's see how these areas... Like, I was gonna say how these areas connect. I haven't seen any of the other areas yet, so that wasn't the right way to word it, but you know what I mean. Oh, okay. But, but why, though? I, I didn't actually want to go back. <clears throat> this is really weird seeing, like, Super Nintendo-style level design in 3D. 
I, not sure how much of a fan I am of this so far, because uh, it's going to be really hard to visualize how everything's connected. Anyway, what's my end goal here? I know, obviously, there's a switch. I'm just trying to see if I can, like, prepare beforehand, but whatever. Let's just do it. Oh. Okay. How long is this going to go on for? Well, other than the obvious timer displaying. I feel like this probably won't be difficult, but I don't know. It's always hard to tell with this kind of stuff. Yeah, there goes my meter. There was a butterfly under a crate. There we go. Go away. Turns out you have to do 16 laps. Okay. Not a page, eight, just a treasure chest. Oh. Alright. Where's this thing? I can't go into first person. I can't tell what this thing is. Oh. It's a sign I can read. Good. I didn't even try to check that. <laughs> okay. I feel like there's something back there. Now there's not. I like how useless that, uh... Like, what do you even call those things? Just... I'm gonna call them, uh... Blowhards. I think that was the name of an enemy from something. I don't remember what, though. All right, well, we're going this way already, so might as well continue. Don't really need to ride that. And are we still branching paths, or can I finally, like, get some closure on something? Branching paths are, like, my worst enemy. Surprised that worked. And yet I got hit anyway. Okay, so here's a good puzzle. There's an ice cube that's near fire that hasn't melted, so I need to put out the fire in order for me to bring fire past the fire to melt the ice cube. Makes perfect sense. Oh, and I reignited the thing, but whatever. Don't really care. I want to know what's up with that area with the, like, 17 play coins just kind of at the bottom. It looked red hot. Didn't know if that was safe to touch. God, why am I reminded of Mario Sunshine all of a sudden? I mean, I know why I am, but why is this game forcing me to relive Corona Mountain? It is not a good area. It's also not a good commando name. At least I don't try to speedrun that game. I have, uh... I've seen some attempts at that. It's a little bit insane. Okay, what is that, man? Edward Solstice Painters. Plaster your palace. I'm not really getting the pun there. 
Like, the fact that there was a sign by the other one that I could blow up makes me feel like I can do something to this, but now I'm just freaking spraying the wall for blue coins. So, yeah, let's just freaking leave. Whatever. <clears throat> and clear my throat at least 700 times. Oh god, it's the freaking boiler boss from Conquer. Alright, well, what do we got going on? just an entire level in here. At least 16 pages. What the hell? Okay, this is being controlled automatically, so... Uh, that dialogue reminded me of Lord Wu Fak Fak. Something about an appallingly cramped locker. More dentistry. God, this is exactly the Lord Wu Fak Fak dialogue. Like, what did he say? He's like, you're here to collect my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap around pathetically on the bottom. And Kazumi is like, yeah, pretty much. Like, just, like, this is... Wow, okay. And I was not expecting this to be bookend in Bernie. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I was not expecting this to be the boss. I' not sure why I didn't see that coming with the boss dialogue, but okay. So what am I doing here? Oh. Oh. What are, what are these ice caves for? Just nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, not really seeing what that does straight away, but I guess maybe it, like, prevents him from going over that way. Or wait, is he putting them out? I can't really tell. All I know is that the fire pisses him off, so... Slide all four of them. There. They're all lit. Is that doing something? I can't tell if that's doing something. Are there other ones I'm supposed to light somewhere else? I, I like this little barrier here. It's so far not helped me at all. But, uh... What is this boss? Yeah, it's just kind of been... There, there, there's four torches, and there's an ice wall. I mean, what's a dinosaur to dine? Is he actually getting damaged? I... I need indications. Okay. W why did that work? Like, I see what I'm... what would make sense to do is light these and then... yeah. I don't know. I'll just keep doing it. It seems to be working to some degree. Get it? Degree? Because it's hot. Puns are the best when I don't intend to make them and then they become very stupid when I point them out. Also gotta say, not really feeling this boss music. Kirkhope has definitely done better. Oh! It's not bad, it's just... 
I don't know. This is the weirdest game of Breakout I've ever played. But yeah, I mean, he's getting smaller and shooting more stuff, so I'll just keep doing it. <laughs> then why did you do it? It's like, I would have been okay with it being here if you didn't point that out. I do love it when bosses leave their one weakness in their arena, though. It's always my favorite. Ugh. Are we almost done? <laughs> Stupid noise. I don't know why I'm still laughing at it. Oh, come on. I swear, if I freaking die now... He only needs one more hit, probably. Look at how freaking small he is. Look at that, making use of the shield and everything. I mean, I could just keep doing what I was doing and, like, move around quickly and avoid it that way, but... Eh. Uh, okay, good job. Are we almost done here? There we go. And the game freezes. Um. Uh, uh, wait, no, it's 12.33 on a Wednesday. iTunes. I forgot. Well, I did enjoy the dialogue there. And let's just leave, even though I opened a gate. But, but there was a gate. Okay. And I guess, oh, yeah, I just... But, but there was a gate, though. <laughs> Who needs an easily accessible pagey when there's a gate? No, I guess I should probably get that first. didn't want to talk to you again, but it's fine. So yeah, this place is pretty big. I don't think I'm actually going to clear out the whole area in this video. Once again, must stop to see how long I've been going. Considering about uh, three minutes was off screen. About 37 minutes? Something like that. <clears throat> do a couple more rooms, probably. And for good measure, let's just have some Rusty Bucket Bay action going on here. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what this is. Oh my god. Here I am thinking that going into that will actually make it easier to control, but no, not so much. Except it's still necessary, okay. Now imagine doing this in a, uh, original Banjo-Kazooie type system where you have to get all of them on one life or otherwise they, uh, all respawn and you have to get them again. I am, uh, quite happy that that is not the case here.
Yeah, would have been a good place for something. No, let's just fall off like a dipshit. I, I like the random decisions of what's uh, what's slipper and what isn't. Uh, we'll just do that again. And what weird sign do we have this time? Oh, wait. Tire Baldwin. I, I'm still trying to figure out if there's a pun there. I feel like there has to be, and I'm just not getting it. Oh boy, two ways to go. So yeah, we're uh we're having a bit of a trend in these videos here where oh wait, what? Okay, never mind then. <clears throat> I was about to say we're having a trend where I uh stop recording in the middle of a section that is very labyrinthine and difficult to remember where I've been. Cause uh I should probably stop pretty soon here. I'm just trying to see, like, how many branching paths I've actually passed over. Because there were some at the beginning, but other than that, I think I'd more or less been going in a straight line to get here. Like, I've been seeing signs of other paths, but I don't think it was anything I could actually reach. Okay, cool. At least they stayed, uh... Wait, did they? Yeah, they did. Any more thermal vent things that I should be looking out for? Mm, no, this area looks pretty clear. Some people like to end their video on a high note. Me, I just I just backtrack pointlessly and don't find anything new. That's fine. I don't like that there's ledges up there. I feel like I should be able to get onto those. And I think this is pretty much back at the beginning. Okay, so yeah, there's one more path there. And this should be the first room, right? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't collect either of those quills, so that'll let me know to go both of the to go that way, and I'll just have to remember. Well, actually, you know what, let's do it real quick here. Because this might just stop immediately. It might not even be a whole other like route. No, no, it, it it doesn't. Okay. So yeah, we'll have to remember to go that way too. Alright. That will be a uh that will be a job for next week. Until then, don't forget to eat your Ovaltine instead of drink it. You need to freeze it first. And also never. <laughs>